नमस्कार मान रही दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट डॉन फिनोमना एंड सोमगाई इफेक्ट वट कॉज इज हाई लेवल ऑफ ब्लड शुगर इन द मॉर्निंग बोथ डॉन फिनोमना एंड सोमगाई इफेक्ट कॉज रेज ब्लड शुगर इन द मॉर्निंग इन डायबेटिक पेशेंट्स बट द रीजन एंड ट्रीटमेंट आर टोटली डिफरेंट बोथ सोमगाई इफेक्ट एंड डाउन फिनोमना अकर इन टाइप वन डायबेटिक मिलाइटस पेशेंट विच इज इंसुलिन डेफिशेंट स्टेट एंड दीज फिनोमना आर नॉट फाउंड इन केस ऑफ इंसुलिन रेजिस्टेंट टाइप ऑफ डायबिटीज मिलाइटस सोमगाई इफेक्ट इज मॉर्निंग रिबाउंड हाइपर ग्लाइसीमिया फॉलोइंग एन एपिसोड ऑफ मिड नाइट हाइपोग्लाइसीमिया इट अकर्स ड्यू टू द रिलीज ऑफ काउंटर रेगुलेटरी हारमोन्स due to high level of evening intermediate acting insulin like nph or long acting insulin like levimir or glargine let me explain the somagai effect graphically suppose at 7 pm high dose of nph is administered insulin spike will come at around 3 am which will cause midnight hypoglycemia due to this hypoglycemia there is a release of counter regulatory hormones which in turn causes morning hyperglycemia this whole phenomena is called somagai effect treatment is to reduce the evening dose of nph so how to remember this basically somagai effect is due to so much insulin in contrast dawn phenomena is due to lower insulin so in dawn phenomena also there is morning hyperglycemia as in case of somogai effect but there is no midnight hypoglycemia in case of dawn phenomena the reason for dawn phenomena is nocturnal surge of cortisol or growth hormone release there is increased clearance of insulin in the morning in contrast you can see that in somogai effect there is midnight hypoglycemia now dawn phenomena usually occurs in everybody it is the phenomena in the dawn which occurs between 2 am to 8 am now let me explain the dawn phenomena graphically so at 7 pm the nph insulin is administered which is insufficient to maintain the glucagon surge in the midnight there will be no midnight hypoglycemia and the sugar level will increase causing morning hyperglycemia and how to treat this condition the treatment is to increase the evening dose of nph remember in case of somogai effect we decrease the dose of insulin and here we are increasing the dose of insulin so the trick to remember is that dawn phenomena is due to down dosing of insulin so the treatment will be increasing insulin dose basically the evening insulin dose is needed to be increased now this table very beautifully explains the difference between somogai effect and the dawn phenomena the midnight hypoglycemia is observed in somogai effect but you will not see the midnight hypoglycemia in case of the dawn phenomena the morning hyperglycemia after midnight hypoglycemia is present both in the somogai effect and dawn's phenomena So in case of the somogai effect the treatment is to lower evening insulin dose and in case of the dawn phenomena we need to increase the evening insulin dose now how to decide whether we need to increase or decrease the evening dose of nph insulin the best way is to check glucose level at 3 am when 3 am glucose level is high we need to increase evening insulin dose because it's a dawn phenomena on the other hand if 3 am glucose level is low we need to decrease the evening insulin dose because it's the somogai effect this is another chart showing difference between dawn phenomena and somogai effect in dawn phenomena there is normal morning effect increased growth hormone and decreased insulin levels 
In Somogai, affected is rebound hyperglycemia due to hypoglycemia throughout the night. Treatment of the dawn phenomena is increasing medication that is increased basal insulin or adjust time, timing to improve the control. On other hand, in Somogai effect, we need to decrease the evening insulin dose. To differentiate between the two, we need to check 3 a.m. glucose level. So thank you so much. That was all about dawn phenomena and Somogai effect. Subscribe on Ops and Gaini. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.